Hey everybody, what's going on? Welcome to another Photoshop CS6 tutorial. I'm your host, Buddy Blackford, and today I'm going to teach you another way of um, adjusting the masks on your adjustment layers using selections. It's really easy and um, photo Photoshop automates some of it for you, so it's really fast as well. And if you can get a good selection out of your image, then it's the faster way to do it besides painting your mask in. So what we're going to do is make sure you have an image, any image, preferably one where you can get a good selection out of it, and then um, that's all you need actually. So um, you don't even have to have any of these on, so uh, you don't have to have any extra adjustment layers because when we create our adjustment layer, the mask is going to be already created for us. So let's go ahead and make a selection. Now I've uh, already messed with this a little bit and I found out that if I um, have my magic wand tool and I set my tolerance to 75, I'm able to get a decent selection from the sky. And if I just add a little bit more in using shift, I can add a, uh, get the whole entire sky in there. And then, and then you can always come in with your paintbrush tool later on and get these finer areas that um, have been added as well. So I have this selection made. Now all I need to do is um, go ahead and just create a new adjustment layer. So I'm going to click on this and go to create my adjustment layer. I'll just You can click on any one you want. I'm just going to click on Hue with Saturation. And now you can see that a mask is created with your selection already on there. And let's adjust my saturation. I'll just uh, jack this way up or something like that. Oh, that's way too much, obviously. But let's uh, make it dark or something like that. But you can see now that only um, the sky is being affected. So now it looks like it's been storming out, and maybe that's the uh, uh, kind of look you've been go you wanted to go for. So that's how you create a mask or create an adjustment layer with a mask already created. Um, and that's by using your selection tools. Now you don't have to use just a magic wand, any selection tool will work. So to refine this, pretty much all you're going to do is select your paintbrush, make sure you're selected onto your mask here, and make sure you have the right color selected. So I'm going to want uh, white because I want to get rid of this stuff. Somehow I didn't select my paintbrush make my uh, paintbrush a little smaller and zoom in there we go and then I could just paint this back on oh I have it the wrong way I should have had it on black so this should black paint this right off there we go and uh, basically you get the idea how the uh, um, you can paint the mask off or on where it is needed so if you don't know about painting on masks, check the previous tutorial, tutorial which uh, I think is tutorial 72, and um, look at how I taught how to use the paintbrush tool to paint off and paint on masks. Something else that I thought was pretty cool was the ability to use filters to um, on your masks to soften them up or um, whatever you need to do. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to zoom back out and we're going to put a filter on this. And I'm just going to select a blur filter. Um, filter, blur, and then I'll just go to Gaussian blur because that's a strong blur. And you can see already that the edges here have been uh, blurred a little, kind of like they've been feathered. And if I keep on going like that, you can apply these filters here and it'll affect the uh, mask and how it, how it's uh, blurred. If you look at the actual mask thumbnail here, you can see that it gets more blurred as I increase the blur. And if I back off, it becomes more crisp. So that's just something I wanted to show you extra that I thought was pretty cool. And um, that's all I'm going to show for this uh, tutorial. We're going to get into um, all these different filters pretty soon in the next few tutorials and I'll just go over a bunch of them for you and and uh, I'm sure everybody is looking forward to that stuff because filters are one of the 
most popular things that people like to learn about because they can make some really cool looking images. So I'll see you guys in those tutorials. Thanks for watching and uh, check out all the other tutorials on buckysroom.org uh, so that they're all in one space for you. Thanks a lot. Have a good one, everybody.